We will keep the tree, um, or this tree house here for five to seven years. And that, that is reason because we really want to do the detailed research of the canopy. It would be easy just to go up there and take pictures, but really understand like how things work together. I'll show you an example of here. You see this, this, this end here? This is, this is a good end, yep? Yeah? Come here, man. Well, I don't know the Latin name. I'm not biologist. I call them a golden butt end, yeah? Mm. If you see, like, they have yellow butts, yeah? These ants, for example, they don't live anywhere else except on this tree. And reason for that is because if you take, this is a new shoot, this is new branch, so it tells you the tree is very happy and it's growing, has a new shoot. If you make a little cut on it, right, what it does, it releases this liquid. And these ants, they feed the they youngsters' larvae with, with, these, with milk, yeah, with this sap. And for exchange, you think like they get something, they should do something for exchange. These ants, if there would be a piece of a bark broken off or a branch they're broken off and it's open space for the beetles and other uh, intruders to go in a tree and harm it, these ants, they go and they create with the, with the saliva, they create this black sap and they patch up that wound so the beetles don't go in. Wow. And that's just like one of the examples. Did you learn about that because of this? Because of being here. Huh. No, you don't read it in the book. You don't find, I mean, if the scientists, the, the thing is that they might, for last 10 or 15 years, we are able to go up to the canopy just by climbing or they building towers or so. But you never really dare to spend 24 hours a day, day and night and, and throughout the seasons. So as you spend time here, you can really learn about these interactions of species and species and the plants, yeah? So that's why we need that time to really understand all these details. On one tree, you can have like 400 different species living on one, one single tree. And you would think that, okay, we don't need to go to the next tree, but you go to the next tree and almost entirely, you will find another 400 species of, of new, new insects, new and, and again, you have to learn how they work together. Mm -hmm. And for that, we need to spend time here. And the reason of this treehouse was to study, try to get up to the canopy, try to learn and understand what's going on. Right. The way the deforestation is happening, maybe in you know, next 40, 50 years, there will be nowhere to go. So only if we want to learn something, we need to do it now. So that's the reason why we're here. And just try to do something more than you know, like recycling, and that's all good, but we need to do something more dramatic. You know, right. That. The idea of, of, of stopping or reversing the deforestation has to come up with some, something a little bit more revolutionary that uh, if we cannot prove that living tree can make money, which by doing tours and overnight states and fractional ownership, the tree is making money. Mm -hmm. And if the tree is making money, it's more valuable than if you just cut it down and make a boards. So the point is, if the tree is more valuable life, there's no need to cut it. And this tree already made enough money to buy a two additional hectares that we bought over there. So you think like, we don't just want to slow down the deforestation. We cannot just keep slowing down the deforestation because it's still shrinking. What we need to do, we need to expand. We need to reverse the deforestation. And, and how better to do it than the tree is doing it. So the, show the value of the living tree and then you know, copy these on different locations. Then imagine that we are not even booked all the time. We are not very booked at all. And if, if we would be fully booked or if we start selling the fractional ownership and then we have four of these here, you could be buying not just the primary forest, but you could be buying damaged forest, you could be buying mm -hmm. destroyed banana plantations, you could be reforesting. And that way, not just saving the, the trees and the nature and all the species that live in the forest, but you, you have a place to do research, to advance in... in, in technologies and I'm a, as an engineer I'm amazed here every day you know what can be done how the the, the, the nature works 
about medicines, all kind of a studies that can be advanced. And then it will, we can give a job to the, to the people. So at the moment, there's, in this area, there's no other job opportunity than work on banana plantations. Right. Where indigenous people, that's the only option. They make miserable salaries. They make 10 to $12 a day. They, they work as slaves and they spray chemicals on them. And it's not just that they they not providing good jobs, but they poisoning everything, right? So the idea would be that giving people other alternative, other option, where they can get, my guys, they get three, four times more pay than on banana plantation, and nobody's spraying chemicals on them, you know? And they do job that they love. It's, it's a win-win situation for everybody, for people, for nature, for studies, for environment. And mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. just like different kind of business. It's, it's creating a, a green business that can be really competing with, with businesses that they damaging and destroying and deploying and, you know, it's, and abusing. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea. And now the, if we can implement this on every continent, then imagine that forests can start growing it's like a mushroom effect that we can have like forest start here and you, you don't need much you can buy a half a hectare where you can have two three trees nice trees mm -hmm. but from there you generate income that you can buy additional forests. you can reforest you can give job to the people and then it, and it's and it's never ending because then you move this to next tree and that tree will make and that you move it to next tree and it makes and it's you know expanding growing mm -hmm. So that's the idea behind it. And this is just like a one example of, you know, proving it that it can work. 